Hey everyone, I'm gonna try to knock this video out quickly because I, I see a need for it on YouTube and and I want to help people if I can. Uh, here's some of my sleeping bags. Uh, these are all synthetic. A zero degree bag. The one in the middle, well the one in the middle is a zero degree bag. This is a minus 20 bag and the one on the far end is a 15 bag. Uh, they're all good bags, uh, but they are a little bit heavy. The one on the left isn't too bad, it's about three pounds. The one in the middle is five pounds, and this behemoth is seven pounds. And it's, it's okay for car camping, and you might even pack it in a mile or two, but good God. That thing would kill you if you went much farther. And believe me, I know, because I've done it. So what I did this year, I made the switch to, travel around the basement here, I made the switch to a down sleeping bag. And the one I chose was the one I could afford, basically. This, excuse me for just a second, this is the LL Bean, minus 20 degree Fahrenheit, 750 down expedition bag. It's only made in the long version, and as you can see, it's cut very wide at the shoulders. The reason for that is you can you can layer up and get inside the bag and you still have a little bit of room to move. It's, it's, a, it's a very generous bag. It's very uh, luxurious. The bag goes for yeah, a little over $400. I got it cheaper than that on sale. This does not have the, uh, the new dry down. And I think that's the reason I got it on sale in the first place. Almost half off, so I was pleased with that. The one I was really looking at was the new Marmot bag. Marmot, however you say that. Uh, but it's supposed to be really good. They're uh, down bag. They have a zero one and a minus 20 degree one. that Really warm looking. And that's what I'm looking for, is warmth. But uh, I'll tell you what, even for $400, this minus 20 bag is pretty, pretty doggone good. I mean, the loft, the loft is incredible. It has uh, draft tubes around your neck and around the zipper, and it just doesn't get cold. The zippers are fantastic and they do not get stuck like so many other bags mountain hardware mountain hardware really has a problem with zippers that should be addressed they're always trying to go lightweight and they skimp on the zipper and it gets stuck like crazy like the hooded down phantom yeah great jacket warm jacket zipper sucks but uh, you know that's just my opinion back to the bag LL Bean only makes this in a long size and that fits up to 6'6 six, six. Uh, I'm, I'm just under six feet it's fine for me in the bottom I can put my water bottles uh, uh, batteries whatever I want to keep warm you know, there's plenty of space for it. So that works out well, too. But I really like this bag. A lot of guys are going to say, oh my god, that's too heavy. It's, it's not really that heavy. It's four pounds. It packs down to a 16 by 9 package. And that's without compressing it. That's just shoving it in a stuff sack. And it fits very nicely in the in the bottom of my uh, pack, as a matter of fact, there's there's extra room on the sides of it 
when I put it put it down in there. So it's it doesn't take up much space. Four pounds. I'm willing to carry four pounds to be warm. And I'll tell you what. Uh, probably going out in the next few days, and the temperature looks pretty cold at night. We're looking single digits, perhaps even below zero. So if it's if it's riding right around zero, you need better than a zero bag, or you will freeze your hind end off. You need to get something like this. You need to get a, a minus 20 bag. You need to have layers with it. And I'm talking about something like this, some kind of down jacket, down pants, down sweater. Down sweater is awesome. Walmart variety, 20 bucks, can't beat it. I think it's ducked down. Has a bit of a smell to it, but hey, what do you want for 20 bucks? It works really well. Very light, 10 ounces. But yeah, I. I love this bag here. I really do. This keeps you really warm. This is the minus 20, what is that? Alps. Alps Desert Pine. It's a wonderful bag. It's just too heavy and it's huge. It'll take up three quarters of your your pack. So it's, it's just hard to pack in. It's just very hard to pack in. Uh, I don't know if you can see that this bag is is a good one too and not many people know about this bag this is a 15 degree synthetic uh, Eureka Eureka is not known for great quality products but this bag is not bad and I'm trying to remember the name of it uh, I think it's called a Casper very tight though very tight this bag uh, when you roll over, the bag rolls with you. So it's uh, around the shoulders, very tight, and I don't dig that too much. Now these bags here, even if you do layer up a bit, you can you can roll over and the bag doesn't roll with you. So I dig that. I dig a little extra room. But uh, getting back to the uh, the LL Bean. I really like this bag. Now, the 750 down may not be the quality of a, uh, I don't know, Mountain Hardware with 800 or 850 or, or some of the other names that, that you've heard of. Uh, but I don't know that it makes that much of a difference. 750 to 800? Maybe a little. But the way L.L. Bean gets around this, I have this tag here too. They just put, I don't think, I don't know if you can read that. They just put a little more insulation in there. You see, 41 ounces of 750 down is pretty much what the other companies have. Only they'll have like 38 ounces of 800 down. Basically, you get the same insulation, uh, but uh, this might weigh an ounce or two more. So, bag comes in at uh, four pounds one ounce. Uh, big tow box. You can stow your stuff in there. Like I said, wide shoulders, so you can layer up. You can move around. I've used this uh, bag in the single digits and it is very warm it is very comfortable I I can't say enough good things about it so yeah I know the color <laughs> the color kinda kinda sucks a little it's a little loud but hey you know what I'll deal with the color as long as it uh, keeps me warm the way I want it to so okay I'm gonna get off of here Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.